Hey, how are we doing, folks? Uh, Luke McDonald here. Nice to meet you face to face. Uh, I've chosen the format of a video diary entry to respond to um, some of these journal entries for my pre service Catholic education course. Reason being is uh, I've just been doing so, so, so much writing in terms of preparing for my six week teaching block and rounding up my final courses at my York Bachelor of Education degree. So without further ado, I'd like to use this video entry to briefly talk about um, both the, the standards of practice laid out by the Ontario College of Teachers and their ethical standards of practice as well. Um, up to this point in my teaching career, which is not quite, <laughs> not very lengthy, um, been two years, I've tried my best to embody the OCT standards of practice. Um, I think, you know, they truly do embody almost every great teacher, you know, especially in regards to a commitment to students and student learning, uh, carrying oneself with professional conduct, whether it's in dress, the way they speak and act, and their legal obligations to students. And uh, specifically in terms of the standards of practice laid out by the OCT, I really do try to embody their initiative of challenging teachers, to, uh, teachers the more rather to be leaders, and uh, both in their school community and the community uh, in a more broader sense. One way I do this is uh, by working with extracurriculars within my school community. I've had the pleasure of orchestrating the Anime and Gaming Club at um, my last placement school, which actually grew to be one of the most popular um, clubs in the entire school, which was a really awesome undertaking and allowed me to really connect with my students in meaningful ways uh, and lead them to be leaders. You know, one thing that we organized was a charity movie night in which students were admitted uh, by submitting two non-perishable food items. We had an anime movie night and we generated over 70 cans of non-perishable food items that we donated to our local parish. Um, coming back to being a leader in, in my broader community as well, outside of this school, I also try to volunteer with my local parish uh, as both a member of the choir and helping out whenever I can on a week-to-week -week basis. And I encourage my students to do the same. And I think that idea of leadership, uh, it really connects well with these ethical standards of practice from the OCT, you know. You know, care, respect, trust, integrity. Um, these are the foundations of good teaching. You know, we really do not just good teaching, but good Catholic conduct as well. So, you know, we truly need to care about others, especially our students. It needs to be genuine. I had an administrator once uh, tell me that, you know, no student is going to care about what you have to say to them unless they know that you care about them. So care is big for me. Obviously, mutual respect and furthermore, making sure my classmates or my students more rather respect their classmates and peers. And I think both of those care and respect pieces are inevitably going to lead to long lasting, meaningful trust between students and educators and that integrity that underlies the teaching profession. Um, at times it can be certainly an endeavor to be this idolized super teacher, super Catholic if I will, and uh, you know, act in accordance with all these standards of practice. Uh, each and every day, you know, we are humans, we are sinners, and sometimes pride and emotion can get the best of us and disrupt our, uh, you know, commitment to respect or ongoing uh, professionalism. However, it's uh, always important to be reflexive and, uh, you know, reflect on one's conduct each and every day to ensure that we're meeting these standards of practice whenever we can and uh, ensure that we're instilling them in our students as well, right? So it's one thing for teachers to act in care, trust, respect, and integrity. But I think it's ultimately the endeavor of teaching to instill those in our students as well. And I hope to do that every day by leading by example, being that Catholic leader in and outside of the classroom and inspiring my students to do the same. With that, I think I'm going to conclude my first uh, video diary entry for this pre-service Catholic education course. Thanks a bunch and have a great one.